Hello everyone, I'm Eden. Welcome to BNB's YouTube channel. In today's segment of Business Talk, we have Mr. Jimmy D.Y. Renzin, the founder of Drugright, as our guest. Welcome to the show, sir, and thank you very much for being with us here today. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me. Oh. And then I'm really glad that BNB started with this kind of a program mm -hmm. that would let our customers and the, your viewers get in touch and then understand basically what we're trying to offer yeah. to, to the Bhutanese uh, citizens in the country. So, sir, can you please tell us more about Drukrai? Uh, Drukrai is an on-demand uh, taxi booking, mm -hmm. online bus ticket uh, service where uh, we have airline ticket booking as well and then currently we are delivering services as uh, we have delivery services as well and then we hopefully uh, sooner uh, we will start with food delivery services as well. So how did the idea for Jukrite come about? Like did it just pop in your head and you had your Eureka moment or uh, was there something that motivated you to take this venture? Oh, when I came back from college, like uh, I was hanging out with my friends and then like my friend asked me where can I buy a bus ticket or whom should I contact with and that's when the idea struck me okay. and I said like why in this digital world like, mm -hmm. it should be so complicated to book yeah. a bus ticket and go all the way to the bus station. Mm -hmm. That's when the idea of Druk Ride started. Okay. What do you think is the most important thing to keep in mind to become a successful entrepreneur? I would say first the idea and then the desire to solve that problem should mm -hmm. be greater than you want to make more money. First solve the problem, mm -hmm. make it better for everyone. And that's where, you know, like this, everything comes together. Mm -hmm. And you learn, it's a journey where you learn things, you face difficult times mm -hmm. and through that, the first thing that you really have to understand is why do you even start it mm -hmm. if you cannot end it? Uh, no journey is easy. Right? Never. Like, yeah. But you just need to keep on going. You have to have the passion yes. and the desire to really solve the problem that you see. Yes. And then if you have that passion and the desire, I think money will come yes. ultimately. The end goal and why you started. Yes, and when I get those feedbacks from my customers, the negative, uh, negative feedbacks should be a motivation to you mm -hmm. to take your services to the ne next level. Yeah. And those positive feedbacks should motivate you and encourage you that you are doing something right. Mm -hmm. Any advice or suggestion you would like to give to the people who wants to become an entrepreneur? Man, that's tough. I know, like, you should know that the journey sh shouldn't be easy. If it was easy, you never look at a problem and then you wanted to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Make best use of what you have. Do whatever it takes to make best use of what we have. Mm -hmm. Because, as you know, our country has limited resources in mm -hmm. any field. Like, you know, even if you want to start a business, limited population, you know, less population. Mm -hmm. But what drives you to do things, right? Mm -hmm. That should be a driving factor for you. And that, I think, has till now been a major factor that has pushed me. His Majesty the King has always said, like, mm -hmm. we should be passionate about doing things. Last yeah. in the Koto member, mm -hmm. do it completely. Yeah. Even if it's, a, if it's a small job or like any job, mm -hmm. do it diligently. Yeah. Do it gracefully with your grace and with whatever you can, right? That is really motivating. And I think not only as an entrepreneur, but it applies to every aspect of life, like what you said, do best in the things yes. you do, right? What unseen opportunities do you see that may result in um, a great startup? I am not an expert in like uh, saying like this should be done or that should be done because I saw a problem in transport sector and I ventured upon this. And I think every journey and everything that you face problem with, you should look at like, does my friend or my family members face that issue? Mm -hmm. And if you can find a solution to it, I think there's a business. La. And there, there, I think like you have that entrepreneurial mindset in you that you really want to solve it. If you can find that problem mm -hmm. and you may like, you know, look around and then if you see your friends, family having those same issues. Mm -hmm. So if you can bring out a solution, I think 
uh, your journey as an entrepreneur starts from that point. Yeah. Uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts on it. It's really awakening. Asla. Uh, there are many people in our country mm. with brilliant uh, business ideas, mm. but it's very demanding to make it happen, like really apply it. Mm. So why do you as another entrepreneur think that this happens and how can we work on it? Everything that like, you know, whenever, when, whenever you want to be an entrepreneur, it's not about like, you know, your journey is going to be easy. Mm. And the moment you see a problem and the moment you see an answer to the problem and you think like, you know, it's going to happen overnight. That overnight mindset, you should erase it. Yeah. Unless you have that passion, the North Star, yeah. and where you want to reach, you know, like where you want to really focus and then, you know, where you want to be in the next five to ten years, yeah. I think you should have a roadmap to it. Because we have to be realistic yeah. about our goals. You have to have that bigger dream. Yeah. So if you have that, at least you need to have the, the plans in place. So many people get dis gets disappointed after like uh, one to two years. I've seen so many startups la, who gave up la, because things doesn't turn, turn out the way they want to. And it will never, it will never happen the way you want to. But if you can like, you know, adjust to the situations and then mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you may need to change a little bit of your ideas. Mm -hmm. That would really help whoever wants to be an entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. To have that mindset to really push yourself. Like, um when you want to do something, don't stress about it, actually like work on it. I don't think you need so much investment to do things. Mm -hmm. la. Just that you need to understand the market well. You need to understand you know, both sides of the coin and then does it really help? Mm -hmm. If someone doesn't get help or makes their life easier, nobody will use a service. That's mm -hmm. definitely right. La. So that is something that I think is important. La. And like you said, planning. It's That's important. Right. Planning is one of the most important things that someone should really look into. To end the session, we'll have a rapid fire round. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say out the first thing that comes in your mind. Yes. Uh, describe yourself in one word. Determined. Success in one word. Hard work. How many hours a day do you invest in your work on average? In a day, I would sleep around five to six hours. And it's been my journey ever since becoming an entrepreneur your all-time favorite book that you would recommend everyone to read? One really good book that I read was Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. That what I would recommend. How an entrepreneur's mind should be built. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about life right now? 101. All right, so this is the end of the session. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Yes. Timurenzen, for being with us here today and sharing your thoughts and experience on it. It was great having you here. Thank you so much for inviting me.